Greetings, Ventures. This is Lorne, your guild advisor. Back at it again for your weekly Dom Machi Season 2 units review for Dom Memo. This time, featuring the star character of the Pledge Quarter arc, Haruhime. She's finally been added into the game to coincide with the climactic episode, and she certainly does not disappoint. And this time, you have two free 11 draws with a chance to get her, rather than the standard one. Similar to the previous anime units, she also has the standard 1st, 4th, and 10th guarantee banner, along with a paid banner you can purchase up to three times. This beautiful Renard, who grew up in the Far East, is a fan-favorite character in Damachi, but is she worth the iris? Long answer short, absolutely. But let's break down her character. Foxy Princess Sanjono Haruhime is a balanced character, with a respectable magic stat of 1647 and has decent HP and endurance levels at plus 5 max hero ascension. Her special arts is Uchide no Kozuchi, an ultra HP heal, as well as a 40% HP regen that happens at the end of the turn, in addition to a crazy high strength and magic buff of 100% that lasts 3 turns. The special arts affects all allies. Wow, just simply amazing. Everything about the special arts pretty much screams one of the best support skills in the entire game, if not the best as of present day. And not only that, the developers made sure that it had one of the most beautiful animations in the game as well. It's simply jaw-dropping, and we can only hope that future units will get this type of treatment as well when it comes to animations. But back to the special arts itself. Because special arts happen in the very beginning of the turn, you can use the special arts whenever you're in a pinch with very low health allies and are not sure if you'll be able to survive the turn before you can dish out a heal. The Ultra HP heal will activate, more than likely fully healing your party depending on how high Haruhime's magic stat is, and you'll also get 40% of your party's HP healed at the end of the turn. You'll be hard pressed to find any party members that don't have a full bar of HP when this turn ends. And it doesn't stop there. In addition to these great healing effects, all your party members get a 100% strength and magic buff and it lasts for 3 turns. Since it affects both strength and magic, Haruhime is an extremely versatile unit that works in physical, magic, and even party compositions that contain both types of damage if you're focusing on an element for example. There are many units that have double buffs that increase their magic or strength by 40 or 50 percent, but this special art still helps immensely because you'll get a 60 or 50 percent increase after Haruhime's buff. This move is particularly great to use in Record Buster, especially after the Record Buster boss uses a special attack, since they use it at the very beginning of turns 5, 9, and 13 before you can select any actions. Haruhime is able to bring you back to full health if your party is particularly low during that time. One other thing I'll mention is that if you use Haruhime's special arts, especially for AoE encounters, you may find an advantage chaining together a special arts from a Bell unit as she gets a special combination attack if you use her in conjunction with Bell called Ascension Hit. And once again, the developers bless us with another beautiful animation that strikingly resembles Bell's final sequence of moves in a fight that takes place at the end of Season 2, Episode 10. It looks absolutely stunning. Uchide no Kosuchi is an amazing special arts that does justice to the concept of Haruhime's level-boosting magic. Her first combat skill is Akane, an AoE fast mid-fire attack that reduces enemy strength and magic by 40% for 3 turns. You'll definitely want to use this skill as one of your first moves with Haruhime in your party, as it'll drastically reduce the amount of damage you'll be taking in encounters, and because it's a fast move, it'll go towards the beginning of the fight, making Haruhime the more attractive support unit option in some ways. As Lina's debuff has no fast modifier on it, and you'll be taking some extra damage you wouldn't otherwise if you had Haruhime. Her second skill is Shiika, recovering 15% of Haruhime's MP, as well as giving all allies a counter rate and penetration rate buff of 30% for 3 turns. This skill only costs 12 MP to cast, and gives back a great amount of MP back to Haruhime, which is useful due to the high cost of her third skill. The penetration and counter rate buffs are also great bonuses because penetrations ignore half your opponent's defense, causing you to deal more damage. Encounters, of course, are another source of damage and also go together very well with units having special counter abilities, such as Haruhime herself and units like Winter Cream Lily and Fina, who possess counter heals, which apply single heal to the lowest health ally. Normally, you want to make sure these buffs are always up and to use this skill to make sure Haruhime has enough MP to cast her last combat skill. And her last combat skill is Yosuga, 
a 30% HP heal to all allies, and also extend your party's buffs and the debuffs applied to your opponents by 2 turns. This last skill is simply an amazing one that works well with any team composition, as most team comps will consist of units that apply buffs to themselves or debuff the enemy, and because this is able to extend said buffs and debuffs by 2 turns, you don't even have to worry about reapplying these buffs and debuffs in most cases because of this skill. This is also a decent source of healing, but keep in mind it is percentage-based, meaning your magic stat has no effect on the heal of this skill. It will always be 30% of the unit's max HP. Meaning, the higher the HP the unit has, the greater the heal. Obviously, this works very well with high limit broken and ascended units. It's also this skill that allows Haruhime to extend her own buffs and debuffs. Meaning, she can even extend the 100% strength and magic buff applied by her special arts, as well as the 40% strength and magic debuff she applies to the enemy with her first skill. The one thing to watch out for is the high cost of this ability, a whopping 141 MP, which is a huge chunk of her MP gauge. This is why you want to use this skill wisely and also time the application of her second skill, so it recovers a good amount of MP when you need it. And since her MP heal is also percentage based, the better the assist you have on Haruhime, the more MP she'll recover from the skill. As for notable abilities, she has the counter heal ability, healing your lowest health ally when she counters an attack. This heal can be for a huge amount, especially if your Haruhime is highly limit broken or ascended, or are currently under the effects of her 100% magic buff. She also has an additional damage reduction of 30% on her guards, sports 35% win resistance, and recovers 4% of her HP and MP at the end of each turn, again helping her get more MP to use her last skill more often. Where Haruhime will shine the most is in PvE encounters like Familiar Rushes and especially Record Buster. You can go check out the top ranking players in Record Buster right now, and they are all using Haruhime. Her kit is just amazing for it. Strength and magic debuffs to lower your damage intake, counter rates and penetration rate buffs to deal additional damage and take advantage of counter abilities like Haruhime's own heal, and the ability to extend status buffs and debuffs applied by your units, allowing your characters to prioritize other damaging abilities. And we can't forget about her special arts, which can heal your party in a pinch, as well as buff their strength and magic by a crazy 100% for 3 turns. For Record Buster, a really good time to use Haruhime's special arts is on turn 9, because your buffs get cleansed by the boss when they use their specials right after turns 4 and 8 end. Applying your huge buff on turn 9 allows you to extend buffs all the way until turn 15, the end of Record Buster. One thing a player with low ascensions and limit breaks on their units might have trouble with is Haruhime's 30% HP heal, which might not be enough for harder encounters where damage is still strong even after applying your 40% strength and magic debuff. In that case, you might actually opt in to use another healer like Winter Cream Lily or Aline, or even running units like Fina because she also has a counter heal ability, and between Haruhime's own counter heal and her counter rate buff, they should be healing the party quite a lot. There's also a couple of very good assists that work well with Haruhime. Orna fits in with the theme of Haruhime being versatile for both strength and magic, because Orna reduces both enemy physical and magic resistance, she will also increase the counter and guard rate of Haruhime by 20%. That counter rate will of course stack with Haruhime's own 30% counter rate buff and make Haruhime heal very often through counters. One other assist that works well with Haruhime is Saiyan Naza, who gives additional HP regen to your allies if Haruhime's 30% heal isn't enough, and she also increases the effectiveness of your heals with her heal buff, and like Orna, she has a counter rate buff, but it actually applies to the entire party, though for a lower amount. There are also other HP regen assists, of course, such as Soma, Halloween Reveria, and Amid if you don't have Nasa. New Year's Subaki is also an option if you're wanting an assist with the counter rate buff. Haruhime is an extremely good character for PvE type content, but how does she shape up for war games? In my opinion, Haruhime is likely a decent war game character at best despite having a fast strength and magic debuff. Krotso and temporary healer Amid simply beat her in that regard, because both of those units are faster than Haruhime and also include an agility debuff in her debuffing skill, pretty much allowing all the other characters in their party to go first. That isn't to say Haruhime is bad for war games because her debuff is still good, but I wouldn't expect to get too much mileage out of Haruhime in war games if you're aiming to get hero rank. Don't forget to craft your character weapon, and as for stats you're prioritizing, you'll likely want a plus 30 in magic and dexterity at the very least, 
as it'll increase the effectiveness of her counter heal with the magic stat and the rate of her counters through dexterity. It's not as important to get a 30% crit rate on the weapon because her only attacking move is her first skill. Haruhime is definitely a character you want to get, and I'd actually recommend to go up to the fourth role at the very least, as she'll definitely fit well into many teen comps with her versatility. Going any further than role 4 is very intimidating because roles 5 through 9 are non guaranteed, and I can tell you that I myself was burned, only getting the three guaranteed Haruhimes from my roles, so do those last six roles if you're feeling lucky. And definitely don't forget about increasing your CP levels on all three of your town heroes. You want to get those bonus stats so she has as much HP, MP, and magic as possible. I'm really happy they made Haruhime into an extremely good character, possibly the best support character in the game, as she is a fan favorite character. Let's hope they do other characters justice as well. We have two more Season 2 units to go. I wish you luck on your rolls for this foxy lady, and I'll see you next week. If you liked this video and would like to see more Damachi content, please subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord. And as always, continue enjoying your time adventuring in Rario and the dungeon. This is Lorne, your guild advisor, signing out.